Scorpio. So this is your weekly love forecast, your mini reading um, for April 18, 2016 to April 24, 2016. Up, um, oh, we got a card turning over, the Knight of Swords. So you got a message coming. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, let me go ahead and, and um, oh, you know what, Scorpio? I can already see a messy week coming up for you because my cards are flying everywhere. Or it's going to be some craziness. Let me see what's going on because my cards are just, goodness gracious, they're just jumping out everywhere. Wow. Okay. So Scorpio or Scorpio rising. Let's, like, let's take a look and see what's going on. This is definitely something going on. Now, the Knight of Swords is a message, um, Scorpio, that you don't want to hear. So that's usually news, very fast, unexpected news that's going to piss you off. This is somebody trying to irritate you. So if it's somebody that's known for irritating you, do not answer your phone next week. Okay? Because that card, I mean, it's going to be some major crap happening, I can tell, because my cards were jumping all over the place. Okay. So I cut and I'm going to split. Okay. So Scorpio, I can see that currently you are working on a project. Um, you got the three of coins. This is a really nice card because, again, the three to me always represents father, mother, child. Um, this is the power of three which is very powerful. This is a collaboration that results in some sort of success, expansion of a relationship, maybe possibly business or money. Um, for some of you Scorpios, you're going to find out your girlfriend is pregnant next week or vice versa. Scorpio, you just recently made some sort of judgment. Some of you Scorpios may have jumped to conclusions, but you made a decision. The judgment card came up as a major arcana in the past, and so um, it doesn't surprise me whenever major arcanas come up in the past, especially mid-month. Um, this is accountability for one's actions, new beginnings, and an awakening. So I love that, that meaning. Um, also, for um, a love reading, the judgment card is um, really depending on, it, it depends. So basically, here's what I want to say. Depending on the future card, whatever this I issue is, I mean, this card evokes the need for fairness, balance, and harmony. So I'm seeing this come up in the past. So I get the sense that in the past, there was a need for you to deal with some sort of karma, whether or not it came up from your past life. So, you know, I get the sense that if it's someone that you did know in a past life or if you have some sort of karmic tie with that person or if it's a twin flame, um, you know, you realize because justice deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So just recently, or sometime in the past, you learned about that. <clears throat> and it states that all events and all people are connected. And Scorpio, you learned to quit taking people for granted. Um, you learned a very hard lesson um, because the justice card, whenever it comes up, I also see legal, okay? E either justice or judgment. I see courtroom, something was happening. Um, and it, and I can see that there were some people that were less than savory and it wasn't your fault. I can see that too. Um, you know, and this can also mean that you were having, maybe some of you were having a hard time balancing. Um, for some of you Scorpios in the past, um, you must have done something, you know, and you had to learn a lesson for it. I mean, we all have to learn lessons in life. Hell, I learn them every single day. Um, nobody knows everything. Okay, but you can learn a lot about yourself. I think I think the only time a person can say they know everything is when they're talking about themselves. And really, to be honest with you, you can't even say it then because there's stuff hidden subconsciously that can sometimes, um, you know, invoke certain behavior in people. And um, your past life history, which is where some of your karma 
um, comes from in, in your current lifetime. It's with it's like this with everyone. Um, it just depends that you have to deal with that karma in each lifetime and you keep coming back. That is my belief. Now in the future, um also another thing. <clears throat> Um, I get the sense that you um, in the past had to learn the lesson of balancing yourself, especially with this um, Knight of Swords. This is a troublemaker with a message with a message and it can be male or female, you know, um, it's just it just to me, it just looks like a person and they're just kind of, I don't know. You know, they, you know, they just want to know about everything and, if, you know, they just, they're very particular and just, you know, meticulous. So it's not that they're a bad person, but maybe, maybe this is a friend of yours is going to piss you off or something. I don't know. I just see a message coming. And so I'm telling you that if there's somebody that normally irritates you, um, you don't need to make contact with them. Um, so you got the seven of coins in the future. So this is good luck. Um, so that's a very good card. So you're going to get lucky in the future. And you're going to thank your lucky stars. So that's a good card. This is developing skill. Also growth in one's ability. So this is you developing the skill to... I don't know, maintain a relationship. You know, a lot of people think it's easy to maintain a relationship and it's not. So this is taking a moment to reflect on the progress made. So this is you sitting back also reflecting. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is a young witch, practices her spells in the factory garden, sticking a tree with a rusty nail. She evaluates the growth of her skill. Seven Pentacles bloom from the once dead branches. So she's basically taking negative energy and turning it into positive. This is alchemy. Okay. Um, the tree is even bleeding. So, you know, this is about spirits also. This is a really very spiritual card. Even in the regular tarot, it's a really spiritual card. Um, this is pointless insistence not perceiving a broader reality when you look at the introspection of it um so looking at that introspectively when we're dealing with the coins okay there was a lesson that had to be learned about money because a lot of people don't understand the seven of coins okay um it was your use of of energy is why it says pointless insistence not perceiving a broader, broader reality. You didn't realize that you were manifesting what you were putting out there. And that is a very valuable lesson. Um, the seven means that once you learn, I mean, that's like wisdom in that when you think about it. Because how do you, how would you expect for people to react to you? Um, so, I, you know, with this card, you know, it definitely shows security. It's a good luck card, but luck can run out when you're dealing with love because when somebody's had it they've had it and it's hard you know when I mean the emotions of love are so difficult um, but I still see you getting lucky I still see you know uh, when it comes to love the seven of pentacles points to things going well for a person that you have your heart set on so for you people that are not involved in a relationship you're not quite equal yet and that's why the seven comes up so it's almost there but it's still a powerful number um, when you look at the numerology meaning of the seven so this is somebody that you have kind of been you know going through the motions with because especially when the judgment card comes up in the past you can see arguments and fights and difficulty uh, but that was the past looking at the future um, you um, if you are not in a committed relationship you have to be open to other possibilities um, and you also have to realize that love does not have to just come along once in a lifetime and you don't have to like completely 
destroy your whole existence or be depressed and sad for the rest of your life just because one person left you maybe that wasn't the person for you and then also Scorpio don't give in to suspicion or fear so this is a really emotional card also with that seven because a lot of times when you're dealing with alchemy it's about your emotions it's about you saying you know what the hell with what people are saying I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for what I know so this is a this is a fruit of <laughs> this card um, this number um, berries fruit and sevens also hail a fresh start where all things are possible not in spite of her because of what we have thus endured our growth is going to be called upon to help us now in our new path so this is saying you know especially when you're already involved with somebody like hey you know we had a bad time but we gonna move forward and especially um it's it's a miracle card you know you only get lucky once when you can go through some craziness and come out and still love each other that's real love and you, and a lot of people that experience that love they know how lucky they are and people that haven't yet be patient because it's coming okay and i see it coming for a lot of you next week and it's there but unless you learn that particular lesson you're going to keep pushing it away from you and you're going to continue to have an imbalance okay if you want a reading personal reading i do same day readings the link is in the video description box thank you for watching bye